Your children and their children and their children will feel the impact of climate change. It's the message in a new report from the White House that sounds the alarms for future generations. The authors say recent weather extremes are evidence action needs to be taken before it's too late. And remember just earlier this week, we had the road collapse right here at 26. <laughs> Crazy. 26th Street, we've had hundreds oh. of water main breaks over the winter. We've already worried about our infrastructure. And meteorologist Mike Masco here. Mike, explain what this report says. Look, Ryan, how big was it? <laughs> this is no easy reading. It's about eight, 900 pages. Uh, there's 25 pages devoted to Maryland. And there, and there was some good stuff in there. Uh, we talked about infrastructure. Came up actually twice, Jamie, uh, saying that stronger storms could compromise our aging infrastructures. That could lead to more of this landslide situations, as we saw with Charles, uh, the Charles Village incident. Uh, Jamie, the report also states that while temperature swings could cause more water lines to explode, uh, he could also disrupt our train services. We saw that last year because of the melting of overhead wires due to extreme heat. They All talked right. a lot about that. Well, let's talk about the heat. We're coming up on summer. And guess what? It's right. going to get hot. So, what does the report say about the heat? Talking about heat waves. They're going to say, they're saying in this report that the heat waves are going to become more frequent. This is going to play, of course, into the infrastructure, causing roads to buckle. We could have some major power issues with rolling blackouts and more frequent 90 degree days could lead to the possibility of more deaths, unfortunately. All right, let's talk about our, pay, our bay. What does it, what's the impact on the bay? Well, it has to do with sea level rise. You know, when you rise the, rise the sea, the ocean, you get the big rush of water up the Chesapeake. So that means that water levels will rise in areas like Annapolis or Bowley's Quarters or Essex. And with an enhanced storm activity, the potential for losing your home is, of course, you know, naturally enhanced greatly. So some people, you know, are questioning this report. Look at that. Look at all the action out there. Okay, we have those in support of this. Oh, but boy. There are naysayers who are right now booing at you. There's a lot. And you go to Twitter, and people are saying that this report's a little sketchy, specifying uh, there was one thing that everybody's kind of freaked out about that the report specifies that intensity, frequency, and duration of hurricanes will all increase. That's what's said in this report. That's puzzling some people because last year it was quiet, one of the most quiet we've seen since the 60s. And it's been eight years since a Category 3 storm hit the United States. States. We could consider this a hurricane drought across the Atlantic since it's been the longest stretch we've gone, Jamie, without a major hurricane since 1915. That's of impact in the United States. So the temperatures, of course, come up a lot. Let's talk about temperatures. It was, it's hard to dis, uh, dispute the globe is warming. Some argue that we are continuing to come out of the last ice age. So that was since the 1800s, and that temperatures could only go up from there. Science also states that there may be a pause in global warming between 1997 to 2012, as we have not seen any dramatic rise in global temperatures. So that's what the naysayers say, Jamie. All right.